Hello and welcome back to Let's Play The Walking Dead. When we last left off, we asked the question, can we use the gaze, or will it use us? Well, that was easy. Hi. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, Lee. Change your mind about going out to track down them bandits? No. Yeah, it'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about what we're up against. Let's do it. I'll stay here and hold down the fort. Remember, we're just doing reconnaissance for now. No use getting ourselves killed. Nope. Are you going now? Yeah, I'll be back soon, Clementine. Please be lucky. I will. Does she have stockings on? No wonder they're not all torn now. Then again, all been wearing the same clothes for about a year. Give or take. See Six months. Not yet. Nine months, however long it was. I know it's around here. It's gotta be close. Here. Oh shit, you found it? He looks very worried. Well, perhaps understandably. This is a new part, isn't it? I'm recording all of these um, consecutively, just to be sure, because this is actually really interesting. I'm enjoying this. It's like Magical Diary, but um, less reading. Sneak up the game. Da 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 da. Wait. Oh, okay. I can advance forward by pressing. You see anybody? Nope. Can't tell. Oh, that Don't was a bad idea. Lee. I'm gonna check out the tan. Wait, is there a little kid living out here? This camp's too small. It can't be their main base. That's what I was thinking. Take a look around anyway. There's probably some shit around here they stole from us. Okay. Box. Crate. Kettle. Bottles. Let's look at these ones first. Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently. Just water. Hmm, crate. Wait, do we know how to work a gun? Oh, wait, yes, of course we do. Actually, it probably Nothing. does. Nothing. Box. Empty. Darn it. <gasps> it's a secret compartment hidden under the box! Wait, what happened? Why did we do that? I'm confused. Lawn chair. Looks like they expected to be here a while. Examine tent. Tent looks pretty new. Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid sized. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? Not unless you need a bunch of empty cans. <sighs> I'll pass. I don't know, you never know when empty cans are useful. Oh, something amazing. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. Da 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 da. What do you find? A video camera. Let Is me that, see that. That's a, it's a bloggy. 
Battery's dead, though. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily, huh? Sounds like she's running this democracy of yours. Yeah, there's a lot of, um... A lot of talk about that, isn't there? Empty. But it looks like someone's been eating out of these. Recently. Oh, uh, what else have we looked at? Oh, trash. Oh, is that Chinese food? You don't need that. Oh, yes, you do. If there's scraps, you must eat. What's that suspicious looking rock? Wait. Gas can. Nothing but fumes. Shit. I'm trying my best to ignore all the swearing. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Could be worse. Da da ba da. Good bloody bunny. Oh man. Bloody bunny. That should be a child's toy. Photo. What's that? Well, we figured something out. So wait, were these campers or bandits? This will be an interesting ethical decision when we are presented with it. kid mixed up in this? Was more like. Sleeping bag. The hell? Don't you fucking move! Oh, hello there. Shit. Put your guns down. I ain't going back. If you tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit. Steal everything from me. We had a deal. You people broke it first. We're looking for the people who attacked the dairy and shot my friend. I don't know where they are, but they ain't here. So get the fuck out of my camp. She's lying, Lee. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down. You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice sharp arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. What? What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'm gonna head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you, Should have done the third option. <laughs> Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind for- oh. Jolene, 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 Jolene. No, sorry. God damn it. Well, thanks. I guess. Well, you're welcome. I guess. <sighs> Thank you for shopping at Save Lots. It's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Was that her mother? I I'm confused. Come on. 
I don't think it was really the right decision to say, You murdered the woman! Not when there's a, a gun. Man, that was a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on Maria. Not after what they did to your friend. You're back! What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. No. My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, great. Calm down, princess. I'll do it myself. Mustache, come back! What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Uh, don't mind them. It's how they are. Each of them wants to be in charge, you know? Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. We all get a little testy. We'll fix that shortly. Yay! And Lee? Don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. No. That woman is a lifesaver. I hope the cow's just... Still like around there, and she's just go licking them all. It's like, oh, Mrrr. how's the cow? Yep. I wonder what. Uh, I we, did we we didn't get enough time to talk to that woman to actually establish. See, there's replay value. Answer your questions. That should make everyone happy. This is kind of like a. Did, was that her daughter? Which seems to be unlikely. Oh, was it? Oh, wait. No, that couldn't have been her daughter, Clementine. Uh, Clementine's mother. It must have been. Um, Hello. Maybe she lost her own daughter I or something. To today. So she stole the hat. My girl here. You really like that girl. What's not to like? Not much, I guess. Exactly. Wait, what, what, what was suspicious about that? You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. Which you one's the doctor? You trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, it'll be a good one. <laughs> what else is there to look at? Look at picket fence. That's sharp. Look, toolbox. Toolbox. Walking towards the toolbox. It's a small toolbox. Yep. You sure hit the nail on the head there? Oh, it's a hammer joke. Okay. What are we, what are we after here? Oh, there's some hay bales. We could prop them up and use them for target practice or stop some arrows. Yeah. Oh dear, this isn't going to end. Oh, look at gazebo. Look at it. Look at whoa. Whoa. The gazebo! What has it done? Oh. Gazebo. Wait. It doesn't offer much in the way of protection, though. No, you just have to use your imagination. Those force fields surrounding it, those are the power generators. Providing they don't shoot through the power generators and you just stay in the middle, that's fine. Larry's going okay. Let's talk to Lily. Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? Uh... We found a tent and some boxes. Nothing really useful. No way, I want to... Seriously? No food? Jesus. 
What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? Again. He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. Yeah, well, I actually agree he with told that. Him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here. We don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? Yeah. It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. Uh... It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. Does he treat you like that, too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. No. No, we don't hate you, Larry. Can we give him a hug? Did you get the feeling something's going on here? What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, it's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know what you mean. These backwoods people always give me the creeps. If you ask me, we should just get our dinner and leave. Come on now. We don't want to be rude. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, and we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Oh, shot. Yep. Just a tree. Whoa! What was that? Ah, okay. Paranoid and suspicious of everything. Turning into the mustachio. It's strange, I can never remember the names of cat Whoa, it's dark. Resident Evil Dark. Oh. Why isn't he licking them? It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. It's okay, go ahead. Oh, is she the vet? She must be the vet. Oh. Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. Yeah, yeah, you'll really like that process. What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. Did yep. you lick it? I don't know. Um. Open stall doll. Stall doll. Stall doll. Stall doll. So many stall dolls. Let's see. Uh, we got some boxes. Moo. The box that moves. Stall doll. Oh, I don't like this one. Nothing in here? No! No, forever hold your peace. Okay, there's corn out there, though. I'm telling you. You think well, I'm... I'm not a crazy one. I know how... Moo. Oh, that's a nice scene, just there. They did a good job with the graphics, though. Except with the... The leg. It's chopped. It turned out to be a good, like, piece of surprisingness. What's that? Oh, feeding trough. It's a feeding trough. Maybe we could sleep in it. Oh, oh snap. Looks 
like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh, smells pretty foul. That's a wheelbarrow. Is that dirt underneath? Ah, it's dirty old clothes. Da 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 da. Shh, shh. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Uh, I think you're being a bit crazy. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal on those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor, what'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. Hmm. Screw, 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 screw. Lock, okay. Hey, Lee, you know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're, you know, urban? Oh, you are not saying what I think you're saying. Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. What? See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right. You know, I'm not getting a choice in any of this. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Kenny thought he heard a noise. He's a little jumpy, huh? Well, we're all sure glad his wife is here. He's a lifesaver. You, you got no idea. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Instruct Andy to get him out of the barn. Okay, so this, we have to do this, do we? Fine. Ah, hey, Andy, um... Moo. She looks skinny. How do you like that cow, Clint? She's pretty. Yeah. Duck! Have I missed anything? No, not really. Hmm, <laughs> it smells funny in here. Well, like manure. What's manure? Duty. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Kids. Uh, wait a minute. Yes. Okay, I just had to check how long this has been going for. Will we be able to distract Andy? Will we find out what's behind the door? Or do we have a choice in this? Will there be ethical consequences? Who knows? Find out next time. I hope you enjoyed this part. And we'll be back. Sure.